Hey everyone, this is Jeffrey. I am in Salt Lake City right now. Uh, just finished another uh, weekend up here visiting my doctors. Uh, came in Friday and it is Monday now. Just waiting uh, for my flight out. Um, just want to update everybody on how I'm doing. So, uh, the good news is I am getting fat. Uh, eating more than I have in 10 or 15 years. All the things that we've been trying, uh, the medications have been working as uh, we planned. And the big change that, that's allowed me to eat so much is uh, gastrochrome. Uh, I was on, a, I think, a two or four vials a day when I last, uh, last did a video. And I am up to eight vials, uh, eight vials of 100 milligrams a day. And that's allowed me to eat <coughs> solid human food just about every day. Uh, basically every day, every meal. Um, able to eat Subway just about every day. Uh, still doing McDonald's, but now that I can get off that nasty stuff, I'm doing a lot less of it. Uh, but that's always the backup. Um, the Big Mac with no, uh, no sauces on it, just dry. Um, also going to Hometown Buffet a lot. So uh, I, I load up my plates when I go there. And you guys have seen a couple of those videos, but uh, before um, increasing the gastrochrome dose, I was able to go to Hometown Buffet maybe once every couple of weeks and uh, I'll flare up and, and need a couple of weeks to get that out of my system. Now I'm going every week or every every other week and that's that's what's put in, helping put up the pounds, I think. Uh, actually able to hold above 132 or 33 pounds. Uh, I was eight, never able to go much above 125 and I think my lean weight is about 120 so whenever I get sick I just drop to 119, 120 and that's just always been kind of where I was and, and now I'm just finding that clothes don't fit as much and uh, that's a good thing. How was the meeting uh, with the doctors? Well, <clears throat> meetings are getting pretty short. Uh, there's probably maxed out the treatments that I've laid out over these videos and what we've been trying so that's the that's the cyclosporin as the base to uh, to calm down my immune system that's a immunosuppressant and uh, gastrochrome is helping a big deal to allow me to eat and helping my asthma and a bunch of other things so I'm uh, also still taking a bunch of uh, antihistamines along with the gastrochrome and um, and topical steroids when I do flare up, but so, <clears throat> the problem is um, I'm still not able to do a lot. I still need a lot of help in my daily life, and uh, this shouldn't be on psychosporin, the immunosuppressant, for this long. It's, uh, it damages the liver quite a bit, even though my tests have been fine. There's always a concern that we want to get off it as soon as possible. It's just um, basically right now, it just doesn't seem like a big future in what I'm doing now. I'm going day by day, you know, enjoying it while it lasts, but um, we need to come up with something new. And we've talked about this for a couple, a couple of times before. So, uh, doing a rituximab treatment and then going to the Zolaire, which uh, rituximab uh, kills off a bunch of your B cells from your in your white blood cells, and that's. Uh, could be pretty dangerous, but without going to that step, not really uh, dealing with the source of the problem. It's not uh, a cure. It's just getting a. What I'm doing now is basically having a bunch of medications to mask um, my my reactions to food, environment, smells, whatever, and uh, that's not gonna last too long. So we really need to find a way to get at the core of the problem. Uh, which we think it's uh, too too much IgEs that are reacting uh, to the environments and food and whatnot. Um, but without taking that step, um, I'm kind of limited. And when I do start uh, having problems with uh, cyclosporin, I'm going to be in big trouble. Even now, I'm I'm get, I am having certain. Uh, problems that I'm fatigued a lot, sleeping a lot, uh, can't concentrate as well as I used to. So I really need um, a next step. So the next step we're talking about is possibly rituximab. The problem is rituximab is freaking expensive. 
<clears throat> it's about fifteen thousand dollars per hundred milligrams, and I'll probably need ten times that every week or every other week, depending on uh, how the <laughs> what we want to do with the treatment. So that's going to be quite expensive, and it's not something that's uh, usually covered by insurance companies because it's it's, uh, it's not a commonly used drug. So we're waiting on that to try to see uh, what kind of options there are. Uh, Dr. Black is going to talk. Um, uh, track down a couple of different avenues, see if we can either either get grants or talk to pharmaceutical companies or talk to the university or uh, my insurance company, which uh, we're thinking that might be the biggest stretch. So for now, it's just, uh, just a wait and see uh, if and when I can uh, try, start trying rituximab. And the, th the thinking is we'll use rituximab to get the IGs down to a reasonable level under a thousand or seven hundred, and then can try the Zolaire again, a uh, follow up with the Zolaire, and uh, try to take the IGs down from seven hundred to a normal range. Um, as for now, basically wait and see. A couple things that uh, uh, might try is to. Uh, cut back on the cyclosporin. Uh, just be preventive, and 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 since I'm able to eat so much now, uh, probably uh, cut back a little bit on the foods that I've been eating, uh, and still take the same amount of gastrochrome. So um, hopefully the gastrochrome give me a little bit of a buffer from cutting back the cyclosporin. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense, but uh, we'll play it back and it probably will. Basically, I just want to reduce the amount of cyclosporin I'm taking. And because I'm eating so much food now, I'm kind of maxing out. I'm still flaring up a little bit, but we think if I go back to you on a heavily L care diet, then the gastrochrome and a reduced cyclosporin is still, would still keep me going pretty well. And maybe that will help with the fatigue. So um, that's the plan. Uh, let me know what you think and uh, if you guys have ever tried rituximab or um, know of anybody who has and or let me just let me know how you guys are doing with some of the treatments and some of the medications that I've mentioned here. A lot of people have had good experiences, good feedback. So I love uh, hearing that from you guys and uh, really glad it's helping you out. So um, I will talk to you again soon uh, when I get some news about what we're doing. Uh, see you soon. Bye.